Hey, good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. This is Elder Ray and I'm here to share another dynamic devotion with you. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Man, how can anyone deny God, cre God's creation or who he is or to even think that this happened by a big bang? Amen. I'm going to share today's devotion. It's called Prior Knowledge. And the scripture reading is John chapter 14, verses 22 to 31. And I will be reading John chapter 14, verse 29. The Bible says, I have told you these things before they happen so that you will believe when they do happen. Amen. Prior knowledge. It is amazing when you see something happen that someone told you about ahead of time. This is exactly what Jesus did for the disciples and for us. Yet we sometimes have trouble processing what we are told because we are so tied to what we can see. We think something can only be true if we see it and we understand it. As a result, Jesus often tells us what is going to happen before it happens. When he was with his disciples, he told them about his death and resurrection before it happened. Since then, he has given us prophecies that will increase our faith as we see them come to pass. While Jesus went out of his way to build his disciples' faith and ours by telling them what would happen ahead of time, he still wants us to believe even in what we don't see. Is that the kind of faith you have? And it reminds me of the story of Doubting Thomas in John chapter 20, verse 29. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou believe. Blessed are they which have not seen and yet believe. Amen. So there's still more to come. As we read God's word, it prophesies, it tells us the future. We have to believe what the word of God says and live accordingly because it's going to happen sooner than later. Amen. And the prayer is, Lord, give me the courage to believe what you have said. You know, sometimes some things seem hard for us to believe, but then we have to ask God to increase our faith. Give us the faith that we don't have. Help us or understand what he's saying. And that way, we will believe him. But just remember, for Doubting Thomas, Jesus came to him and told him to put his hand in the hole where the nail was so that he would believe. So God and Jesus very much want you to believe the word of God above all. Amen. Well, have a great day and be blessed.